As you recall in the previous training video, we learned how to set an interim plan. Well here I'm going to try to hit two birds with one stone. First of all, I'm going to show you how to view those interim plans that were set. But second of all, I want to show you how to create a custom table because I could go ahead and insert my fields, my interim plans here into any table, but that just gets messy. I want to create a specific table or a custom table that will hold all my interim plans, okay? So we're learning how to view our interim plans at the same time how to create a custom table either for interim plans or you can create a custom table for whatever fields you would like that works best for you. So to create a custom table you want to come up here click on the view menu go down to table and then over and down and click on more tables. Now you have a list of all the tables here and you have tables by task or resource. We want it by task. I'm going to scroll all the way up to the top and select baseline because baseline has at least my start and finish dates, my original plan. It has a bunch of other fields, but we'll get rid of those in a second. Speaking of which, this is the original template. I don't want to click edit and start messing with my originals because once I do, that's it. Instead, how about if I just create a copy of it and then name it what I want and then I always have my original that's not messed with and I've got my new copy that I can mess and do whatever I want with. So here's my new table. It's a copy of the baseline. I can say instead, just type over it, and then down below it has a listing of all the fields that are going to be shown within the table. Just like you see here the fields in the table behind the uh, screen here. Now again I want to be able to compare my interim plans, my start and finish dates, to the baseline start and finish dates. So I don't need the baseline duration field, the work, or the cost. So what I did is I selected them and I hit the delete key on the keyboard. Or you can select them and come up here and hit the delete row. That of course works as well. So I've got my baseline start, baseline finish, now I need my first interim plan. All you have to do is come down below the fields here, click in uh, the empty cell, click on the drop down arrow. Now remember it's not going to be called interim 1, interim 2, it's going to be start 1 for the first interim plan, for the start dates, start 2 for the second interim plan, and so on. So I'll hit the letter S, get to my S's, there's start 1, and then I can click off in a blank area and it automatically fills in everything here. Of course, I'll click in the drop down arrow and do my F for finish one. Those are the start and finish dates for my first interim plan. Okay, let's go down here, click on the drop down arrow, hit the letter S because we want our second interim plan entered in. Scroll down once more, click on the drop down arrow, hit the letter F, and of course, we want the finish date for our second interim plan as well. Click off in a blank area. Now, by default, the field names are going to be the names of the columns that you see behind you here in this table here maybe start one doesn't work for you. If you don't like the field name and you want to override it with your own title then come over here and let's say for start one you can either click in it once then click in it one more time until your cursor is flashing that means you can go ahead and start typing we can call it R and then click off in a blank area or just select the cell and then come up here in the entry bar and then let's type in and of course click off in a blank area and that works so I'm not going to do the rest of them because I want to show you the differences between setting your own titles. If you don't set them then it'll revert back to the title of the columns as these names here, the field names. And when you're finished you can go ahead and click OK but I'm going to check the box here, Show in Menu. What that does is when you click on the View menu and you go down to Tables, it'll be listed over in the Table View. Instead of having going over to Tables, down to More Tables, clicking on More Tables, selecting your table, clicking Apply, it's just cutting down on some extra clicks is what I'm trying to do. Okay click OK. There it is, baseline interim dates. Click apply and it'll apply to the uh, table that we have selected here. In fact, this table will disappear and we'll have the new table. Let me click close because again, I can come up here and click on the view menu. Once I've of course saved my custom table, come down to table and there it is. It's in the menu, baseline interim dates or come down here to more tables, scroll up, baseline interim dates, click edit, make your changes if you need to, click cancel, click apply, and there's your new table. Let me go ahead and stretch these columns out a bit because you get these pound signs when the column isn't big enough. So I can hover up in between the two column headers and double click really fast, do a best fit with all my columns and then go to the end column here and double click really fast. And there we go, we've got the baseline start, we have the interim, the first interim plan start, and then we have the second. And as you recall, I renamed this field, I gave it a new title, which is Interim Start. If I didn't, it would give me the default Start 1, as you see here, the default for the Interim Plan 2, which is Start 2 for the Start Date and Finish 2 for the uh, Finish Dates. So all I need to do is to compare is to look at my original plan here, my baseline, and then go over to, well, there's my first Interim Plan column, 
See, going back and forth and jumping over doesn't work for me. So what I'll do is I'll move my columns, all my start columns, next to the baseline start. First of all, you want to click on the column header to select it. And then when you hover back over it, you get that four-way arrow there. Go ahead and click and drag it over. And you can see that gray line there. Once it's next to the uh, column that you would like it behind, go ahead and let go. Let's go to uh, Interim Plan 2, the start. Click and drag that over and let go. Of course, I'll need to scroll back here because everything's jumping around. And there we go. I've got my baseline. Let's see if there's any differences between the baseline here. Yep, we were supposed to start on August the 1st, but in the first interim plan, it says we started on August the 5th. Let's go down a little bit. Um, interview subject matter experts. We were supposed to start on the 15th. The first interim plan, the first snapshot in time here was on the 14th and no change in the second interim plan. But here's where it comes with the change in all the plans. The baseline was supposed to be the 8th. Then we've got the first interim plan, the 11th. And then we have the second interim plan, which shows that it actually got delayed one day back out from the 11th to the 12th. Again, that's a little bit easier to compare at different points of time. Instead of looking at the original plan and then just going out to the actual end start date and seeing the gap between, I can now slice it up according to my interim plans. Now, if you're done with an interim plan, in other words, you want to clear it, you'll come up here, click on the Tools menu, go down to Tracking, and then over and down to Clear Baseline. And then we'll see we want to clear the interim plan of its dates where that snapshot and time of the copy of the start and the finish dates. And we can do it for the entire project or just the selected task here. Well, the selected task we have is Create Outline. You can see it's, well, that's what's selected there. But if I want to do it for the entire project just to free up this uh, first interim plan, go ahead and select it, click OK, and it'll go ahead and clear it up, and then you can go ahead and reset it. Or you don't even have to clear it. You can just go ahead and instead, if you want to reuse the interim plan but at a later date, because maybe you're cycling over, you had first interim plan here, used up all the 10, now you want to go back to 1 here, you can just go back and save it again, tools to tracking, to set baseline, select interim plan, and then of course you're back to square 1, start 1, finish 1, click OK, it'll take a snapshot of the actuals in that point of time for your start, your finish date, for your finish. And of course keep in mind instead of always dragging your fields around, you can go back to your table and modify it. Again, view, table, over and down to more tables. Scroll up, select your table, edit it, and then just go ahead and select your uh, start one. You want to move it, your interim plan next to your baseline. Select it, cut the row, select the row that you want to insert it above, and go ahead and paste the row. It pushes that one down. And then next time when I apply my table, it'll be baseline start next to start one. Let's go ahead and try it. Click OK. Click Apply. There it is. Baseline start to interim plan one. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos. And for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.